Adventure, the last of the true Gloucester fishing schooners, has come home. Adventure is a survivor. She's here, she's a thoroughbred, and she's beautiful. Not only is Adventure the last of her breed, but even more important, she's the greatest highliner of them all, earning over $4 million in her 28 years of fishing. Adventure's keel was laid at the John F. James Yard in Essex in April 1926. She was to be a dory fisherman for Captain Jeff Thomas, his 15th in 26 years. On March 24, 1934, after pounding ice off the rigging while fishing on Western Bank, Captain Thomas collapsed and died in the pilot house. Back in port, Adventure was turned over to Captain Leo Hines. At 33, he had already taken several schooners dory fishing, including the Gertrude El Tebow. For the next 20 years, Leo and Adventure would land more fish than probably any other sailing vessel in American history. That was pretty dangerous sometimes, dropping those dories. Sometimes, when I'd, you know, it was real rough, we'd have to stop the engine. If the weather was clear and fine, we'd space them out quite a distance, you know, to cover more ground. Drop my on one side and, and then we steam along a while and then we drop the other side. He dropped a buoy already and he's paying out the line there. That goes from the buoy to, to the anchor. The anchor's in the dory. Now, see, some, uh, we'd have about uh, 100 fathoms that line and he'd run most of it out before they dropped the dories. And there'd be a buoy on the end of it. Now that's the old cook there helping out. Now that fellow's going to start rowing and the other fellow start paying out the line. The hooks, the baited hooks. We'd cover about four miles, the whole 12 dories, and the trawls would cover another, well, be about f four square miles. Each tub of trawl had approximately 550 hooks. We usually only set about three tubs. Very seldom we ever set the whole six tubs. Each story had six tubs. Each tub would take about an hour. Three tubs should be about three hours pulling it in. So when they'd first start, you know, the, the tide would be running, the current would be running pretty stiff and it would take them a little longer. But as the tide slacked up, they do it much faster. That's Haddock. As soon as the first dories got aboard, of course, they start dressing. Sometimes uh, we had a pretty good catch, because we'd, we'd, we'd make the second set before you go to, before you would dress the fish. And you wouldn't dress them down until evening. Because you had 30 or 40,000 pounds of fish, would, you know, it'd take about two or three hours to dress them all down and get the mice down. Well, sometimes we'd work around the clock. Well, they never get much sleep anyway in the summertime. Uh, uh, you'd get up probably one o'clock in the morning to bake the trawls. That would take three hours. Fish all day long and get them back aboard. They'd have to dress the fish. And then you'd get three or four hours sleep. It was a sort of a challenge. And uh, I don't know. I don't think I'd want to do it again. <laughs> 